Hi everybody, this is Dee. I hope you're having a great day today. Today being uh, May 14th, I just wanted to come on um, uh, quickly because it's on my heart and I'm being led to um, be obedient to what the Lord wants me to do after prayer a few times today. I asked, you know, what could I post that would be helpful? And I got on my heart uh, Romans 11, uh, 11 through 31. But uh, for the sake of time, you know, you can always read that yourself. I'm going to read out loud Romans 11 through 22. So 75 years ago, um, on May 14th, Ben-Gurion proclaimed the state of Israel. And the reason why I wanted to um, just make a mention of that is because the Gentiles are uh, grafted in and this is what's on my heart we thank the lord for that so here i go i'm going to bow my heart uh, as i always do i usually do anyway <laughs> um as of psalm 19 let the words of my mouth the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight lord god so if you you know i hope in your prayers tonight you will be thanking father god and jesus that uh, we Gentiles have been grafted in. But listen to what it says here. In uh, Romans 11, um, 11, it says, So I ask, did they stumble in order that they might fall? By no means. Rather, through their trespass, salvation has come to the Gentiles, so as to make Israel jealous. Um, 12. Now, if their trespass means riches for the world, and if their failure means riches for the Gentiles, how much more will their inclusion mean? 13. Now I am speaking to you Gentiles, inasmuch then as I am an apostle to the Gentiles, I magnify my ministry. 14. In order to make my fellow Jews jealous and thus save some, and, and thus save some of them. 15. For if their rejection means the reconciliation of the world, what will their acceptance mean but life from the dead? 16. If the dough, D-O-U-G-H, offered as first fruits is holy, so is the whole lump. And if the root is holy, so are the branches. So we're very thankful for that. 17. But if some of the branches were broken off and you although a wild olive shoot were grafted in among the others and now share in the nourishing root of the olive tree. We are being nourished all the time, uh, walking in the Spirit and being led by the Spirit and reading the Bible. This is what it, it does. It feeds our spirit, man. Um, do not be arrogant toward the branches. If you are, remember, it is not you who support the root, but the root that supports you. 19, verse 19 says, Then you will say, Branches were broken off so that I might be grafted in. Uh, verse 20, That is true. They were broken off because of their unbelief. Talking about the Jewish people believing in, in the Messiah. But you stand fast through faith, so do not become proud, but fear. 21, for if God didn't spare the natural branches, neither will he spare you. 22, note then the kindness and the severity of God. Severity towards those who have fallen, but God's kindness to you. That's all of us, provided you continue in his kindness. So the overcomers we're talking about here is the overcomers. We're going to go the whole stretch. We're going to make it through. Otherwise, you too will be cut off. So I just wanted to read that. I'm giving thanks to the Lord for that, especially today. I hope you join me with that uh, in prayer, uh, maybe later tonight, that the Gentiles have been grafted in. Um, and it's a really, it's a really good chapter, uh, uh, the book of Romans 11. So I just wanted to come on for a few minutes. This is a great opportunity just to, you know, it's like a refresher. Um, um, some people that are might might be just some believers who might just be starting out don't understand what's going on with that. So I would just say that, you know, if you pray about it, the Lord, uh, the Holy Spirit will help you with that. Um, it took me a long time to really understand who we are. We are spiritual Israel. Um, so uh, that's why, you know, it's kind of sad that the uh, the church of today 
we pray for the church, God's church, because there's a lot of them are asleep at the wheel. Not all of them, but a lot of them are asleep at the wheel. Spiritual Israel is not, however. We know who we are. The bride of Christ is ready. And we're waiting for that wedding. So I just wanted to come on with some encouragement. Uh, and thank you very much for remembering to adhere to my um, guidelines. My channel guidelines are important to me. Um, so I'm going to leave you with that. If there are any prayer requests, they're always welcome and edifying comments or questions. Okay. So I just wanted to leave that with you today. And uh, this is what I'm praying about tonight. This is what I've been praying for the anniversary, 75th anniversary of Israel. So thank you once again for joining me in my channel and have a blessed evening, everybody. God bless you. Thank you.